In this video, I will quickly go over four easy to use habit trackers you can use in your Notion workspace. In the description, you will find a Notion page you can duplicate to your workspace containing all four habit trackers. The first habit tracker is fairly straightforward to use. You have a column on your left for the dates and then you have check boxes for each of your habits. You also have a notes column if you choose to add notes for the day. If you finish your week, simply just drag the table into your archives and then click the template button to add a new week. The second habit tracker is a monthly habit tracker which you can use every month to set new habits or track the same habits. A habit takes at least 21 days to form so this is really useful if you're developing new habits. Simply just enter the month and add the new habits you want to form. And when you're done with the month, simply just drag it into the archives and add a new month using the template button. The third habit tracker is another weekly habit tracker and is probably the easiest to use out of them all. You have your days on the left and your habits on the right. Just remember to update your template button each time you make changes to a habit tracker. The last habit tracker is the one I personally use on my Notion dashboard. And unlike the other ones, your habits is on the left in rows and instead of check boxes, you either select yes or no from the drop down menu. This is my personal Notion dashboard and here is an idea on how you can use and integrate a habit tracker into your workspace. In the description you will find a link to a page containing all four habit trackers and all you have to do is just duplicate them to your workspace. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this quick Notion video. For more videos like these, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.